thanks everyone for joining. Uh, please, uh, an applause for Kiran for centralized login for CloudStack. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, nice to see all the uh, commuters and issues still interacting in GitHub and for the conference for two days. Yeah, so my talk is going to about uh, how we can uh, simplify the logging process in CloudStack uh, using Elastic Search and Grafana. Uh, quick question How many of you guys have used Elastic Search in your organizations or? Uh, yeah, you got it. So how many of you hate troubleshooting CloudStack logs? Like, do you find it easy? <laughs> no. So I'm, I have done a small POC that could simplify how we can troubleshoot issues whenever you hit an exception in CloudStack. Uh, a bit about myself. I'm currently a QA engineer at ShapeBlue. And I have got a decade of experience as a support engineer at Citrix and persistent systems providing support to Zen Server and a full portion of CloudStack. And I'm a avid podcast and audiobooks listener, and I really have a So this will be the quick agenda. Uh, I'll briefly touch why we need a centralized space for logging, and I'll give a brief history of what, uh, how Elasticsearch works, and how we can process the cloud stack logs with the log stash, and how we can interact uh, with the logs using the Grafana tool. And I'll, and I'll quickly give, give a uh, demo of the so why we need a centralized logs? Like there are a lot of logs in CloudStack, right? Uh, management logs, SSVM logs, router logs, and uh, uh, so and all the hypervisor logs. So whenever we suppose you deploy a VM and the management server sends the command to the KVM agent log, so, and uh, again from there we can it can send the command to the secondary storage VM also, and to uh, to correlate all these things, it, it may take some uh, take us some uh, quite a lot of time to troubleshoot the issue. So, if we can provide a centralized view with the Grafana for the end user and admin user, and uh, currently an organization has got a lot of scale, uh, a lot of deployment that ha keep on happening in your organization. It's difficult to exactly tell which instance failed, and it's going to take time, a lot of time process for that. So with this uh, POC, I think we can simplify and uh, it saves a lot, lot of time. Uh, quick, uh, quick, about, quick uh, intro about Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch also is an op uh, partially open source, I believe, right now. Uh, it, has got, it is made up of uh, three stacks, maybe the beat stack and the log stash and the Elasticsearch and, uh, and Kibana. So the Elasticsearch is the heart of uh, the process, it's mainly used for storing and searching and analyzing the data. Logstash is a tool that passes the logs and it uh, passes and sends, sends the data to the Elasticsearch in a key value format. And the Kibana is a visualization tool from Elasticsearch itself, but we're not using much of Kibana. We, instead of Kibana, we'll be using Grafana. And Beats is a tool that ships the logs from any particular system uh, to uh, log stash or to elastic search. So this is the traditional model. Uh, whenever we an end user searches from, suppose you've got an Uber app, so you request a ride. And in the back end, it uses elastic search or uh, find quickly the location of the ride. It, it sends the results quickly in, with the help of elastic search. But if you Consider the older system which uses a database, there is some less time, uh, there's a lot of load, and the results are not much quick. Uh, so with Elasticsearch, a lot of companies use it to search, uh, get the fast results, and uh, troubleshoot the issue quickly. Uh, Grafana is another popular visualization tool that currently is a lot of pop popular among uh, the community. So this is the basic. Uh, Elasticsearch uh, architecture. So we got the. Okay, can take. So we got the uh, file bit. File bit is nothing but it ships the logs. Suppose you got the management server logs. File bit just scans the log. It says this log is present in this path. I need to ship this logs to a log stash server, and the log stash server processes the logs, and it uh, stores them in a JSON document, uh, key value pairs, and sends them across to the. Elasticsearch. 
where the end user can quickly search the logs and uh, clear the results. So this is the file beat log, file beat uh, the beats. So this is again it it it, it monitors it continuously monitors the logs and it sends to either Elastic Search or any other output. Um, so this will be the file bit configuration. So basically, we are monitoring the management server log and uh, basically the API log, and uh, we are adding a log type so that we can identify them later on, and we then send it to the log test server IP in the down. Similarly, for other uh, system secondary storage VM router hypervisor, we got to have the this file bit uh, uh, package installed, and we got to point which logs we want to monitor in particular system, and we can send it to the uh, log stack server or Elastic Search for centralizing storing them. Uh, so this is the main uh, uh, main uh, uh, server of log stacks. So it does the main heavy lifting of processing the logs. Uh, it receives the logs from the beats module, and it says, "I have received this document, and uh, I need, uh, I have to, keep, I have to uh, process them and store in key value format." Uh, this will be clear in demo, but uh, basically, it does the grokking. Basically, it says this line, "This is the job ID. I need to store in the job ID uh, column," and and, uh, and it does the processing. And it sends, and again sends to the back to the Elasticsearch, uh, and where it stores in a particular index. Uh, so this will be the processing. Uh, so basically, you see the first line that is normally a submit async job from CloudStack. There's a uh, there's some filtering done by, by the log stash, and in the end, uh, you'll see this uh, log, uh, key value pairs JSON document like this, which will be stored in the Elasticsearch. Uh, so this is another uh, uh, Kibana interface that stores these particular logs. Uh, so again, Grafana. We need from Grafana we can directly interact with Elasticsearch. Uh, we need to connect our Grafana instance to the Elastic and to the uh, MySQL server to get nice insights into the cloud platform deployment. So this is some sample screenshots. So this is the overall uh, demo workflow. Uh, so CloudStack sends the logs to Beats. Uh, Beats is nothing but tool installed on the management server. Uh, and it again sends to the Logstash server. And again, it sends to the Elasticsearch server. And uh, finally, we can uh, view it on the Grafana visualization pane. Uh, so let me quickly show you the demo. So it should be good. So this is my management server. I have got uh, the file bit uh, package installed. So you can just check the status. It's running. And uh, if you see the file bit configuration, I have got. Okay. So basically, it monitors these two these two logs, and it is sending them to the uh, log stash server. And if you, this is my log stash server. I'll just uh, start up the log stash. So basically, the configuration of the log stash is this. Basically, uh, it receives the uh, log from the file bit server. And it has some pre-built filters, crock patterns. Patterns. Basically, if there is a, a timestamp, store it in the timestamp field. And the log level. These are the key value pairs. And uh, similarly, if the if the log is API log, these are the crock patterns. 
and finally send story terms, send them to across to the Elasticsearch. So right now uh, the Logstash is running. So I'll just quickly launch a VM. Uh, while the uh, while the instance is running, uh, these are the uh, basically the group patterns and the structured data that you can uh, uh, write your own uh, group pattern with the help of Kibana tool. So we can get nice uh, key value pairs. And so basically, I will launch a VM then. Now, if I go back to my Grafana dashboard, one sec. So, let's say last 30 minutes. So, this it queries the Elasticsearch and gets the following fields. So these are the, suppose I can show some last two days that I'm seeing, last 24 hours that I'm seeing. So this this is the deploy VM job and how many job IDs are there for deploy VM. We can get this and we can get the entire uh, st stack of the log. Uh, so this way we can see the logs uh, in a centralized place and resolve the issue quickly. So it should take some time. One sec, let me see. Yep. So this 82, I believe, is the recent one. Uh, yeah, well, VM10. So this is the entire job from the last five minutes. This is the only job right now. So similarly, we will have a lot of jobs based on the API call. And it will be easy for a, a organization to filter the jobs by the API calls and see how which job fails, uh, uh, which, is a, which job is taking a lot of time, uh, and have nice metrics on, based on the logs. So, and I'm also connecting the MySQL server. So basically, we can interact with the Cloud Stack MySQL, uh, so write some SQL queries, so and get the uh, time taken for the particular job, and also the success of a particular job. Uh, okay. Yeah. So basically, with Gra Grafana, we can connect multiple number of data sources. So this is the Elasticsearch data source. Uh, I just pointed to the Elasticsearch server, and uh, I gave the configuration details and the log message, which, uh, which field contains the entire log message. And we can query the particular uh, key value for. Uh, similarly, we can connect to our MySQL database and uh, CloudStack MySQL database and get nice insights into that. That's it, I think, so for the demo. Uh, yeah, I open source the growth patterns. I've created a repository. Uh, so if any interested users uh, can take a look and improve the, uh, if you've got any other uh, improvements, you can add it to this repo. Yep, that's it for my talk. <laughs> any questions? 
Thank you, Kiran. Um, any questions from the room? Thanks, Kiran. Uh, um, I'm not quite familiar with the hierarchy, so my question might be very stupid. Okay. So first, uh, first question is, uh, uh, can we uh, get config fair bits to get the Nox on another server and send it to Nox dash? Uh, you mean the file bit is sending the logs to the yeah. log dash server? For example, can we config the main server to get the Nox on a KVM host and uh, send the Nox to the Nox dash server? Yeah, from the KVM host also we can send it to the log dash server. Okay. Uh, you need just the file bit module to be installed. Uh, so basically, yeah, you just need the, uh, this file bit is a small package that you need to install on your hypervisor, KVM host, or any SSVM router. The it, it main job is just ship the logs to the logs test, so it just process the, sends the logs. Okay, so yeah. we still need to configure the KVM host? Yep. Okay, yeah. so another question is about the virtual router. You know, the class of virtual router are managed by class deck, so it can be destroyed, yes. stop started, yeah. so, and it's not possible to install a fair bit. Uh, yeah, that's the only, we, we have to change the system template that the file bit package is already present whenever you um, just stop and start. Okay, yeah. thanks, Kerry. Any other question? Thanks. Um, yeah, no further questions from the online session. So, no. yeah, thank you, Kiran. Thanks. Yes.